Welcome back, everyone. What up? Hey, that's what was going on. That's all that ruckus. That's a good coat, dude. <laughs> Anti-police coat. I blocked it, bitch. That guy looks like General Hux from Star Wars down there. Fuck yeah. This dude? I mean, with the hair slicked back. Yep. Face and all. Oh, damn. Yeah, good chin. Yeah, chin. <laughs> Produce a little scratch. Chin will block a fucking F-150 coming at it. <laughs> but yeah, fucking Grog was calling for the internet the other day. You probably know from our last recordings. But, uh, I love how he was talking on the phone with the lady. Because normally when you answer the phone, you're like, Oh yeah, how are you doing today? Okay. And they're like, oh, this is the deal. They're like, okay, cool, that sounds great, thank you. Like, being all, you know, polite. <laughs> like when Grog was talking to her dude, she was like, "Yeah, we got this much internet." He's like, "Fuck yeah, that sounds fucking awesome, dude." <laughs> Just <laughs> talking to her like he's known her forever. Fuck yeah, dude. He's like, "Yeah, cause our fucking," he's like, "Our fucking internet sucks right now. It's shitty as hell." <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> damn, bro. I'll avoid the police. She kept telling us, "Uh, yeah, cops are bad guys. Just as bad as crackheads." Do I gotta sneak? That's not a police. She was giving me rates of internet, so I kept saying I need more. <laughs> yeah. She was like, okay, we got a plan that starts out at 25 megabytes a second. He's like, okay. Is there anything better than that? We also have a plan that starts out at 50 megabytes a second. He's like, alright. Um, God damn it. He's like, is there anything that's better than that? She's like, oh, we got a plan that starts out at seven, 75 megabytes a second. And he was like, all right, cool, and that costs this, blah, blah, blah. And he was almost about to hang up, and he's like, just curious, do you have anything that's better than that? <laughs> yeah, we got a one that starts at 100 megabytes a second. It's like, bitch, lead with that shit. If I'm asking you three times, just tell me all of your plans. Tell them all. Tell your salesperson. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking losing out Should on some sales. Should he be trying to sell me the biggest package? Right. Got him. Fucking headshot, too, bro. Yeah, the objective is literally just avoid the police. It's my life's objective. <laughs> yeah. I can get behind that. God damn it, Kidman. You know it's bad when you're in serious danger. Death around every corner. And avoid the police. Ghosts fucking coming at you. Panicking spawning out of nowhere. You still gotta avoid the police. Yeah. Okay. The only names that weren't crossed out were the matchmaker and the torturer. Nice. Of the names that were crossed out, all those cases have gone cold. And now you can cross off the matchmaker. Case Wait, going cold means that, that they're dead, right? Or does that mean they don't know? Case going cold means they're losing, losing killing their killing leads and, killers, and like the trail's getting like, oh. his little like they're character. losing the trail, you know? Ridiculous, doesn't it? it does, but... That's what, like that, that uh, whole, uh... Sense. Cold case files or something. Yeah, cold case files and like the first 48. It's apparently the first, uh, the first two days. God damn, it's only two. The first two days are like the most crucial one. Damn, really? That's good intel. Yeah, yeah they're if, up to uh, any mischief, lead them wrong. Yeah, pretty much if you, if they can escape within like the first two days and the trails go cold, then, then, uh, they're more than likely murder. not gonna catch them, yeah. Got away with Moida. I'm just gonna follow these guys in the way out. Lead the way, bud. You're on the crackhead side now. Yeah. Oh, well, you're not supposed to kill him. Your buddies. Ain't my buddies. He's only doing that because you tased him, dude. Can you explain it? God damn, bro. Good execution style. Come on, you son of a bitch. Thank you. I need health now. Yeah, Open doors to complete chapter. Thank God. <laughs> Woo! Favorite weapon, boot. Boot. That boot <laughs> saved you a couple times there. The boot has been my favorite weapon every single time, dude. <laughs> Firearm hit. All 78%. I'll take that, baby. Didn't find any metal pieces. No. 
Five out of six birds, and I still only got the bronze bird award. That's bullshit. Probably just bomb bronze and gold. Yeah. Forget silver. <laughs> oh god. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. You were going to call me back. Bad fucking Sorry. dudes like that so, crawling around me, I'd go crazy too. <laughs> for sure. The metro station and the boot print are not the matchmakers, but this boot. other guy. So, is he the torturer? Doubtful. It's not the torturer's. <laughs> well, vapes smells so good. I'll try it. I mean, it's cotton candy blueberry. How do you hit it? Like the bowl? You're sucking in, bro. Sucking down. Yeah, but dude, I've always smoked cigarettes like I'm smoking a blunt. And it makes Suck in with your mouth, but not your lungs. Just. So you don't get it in your lungs? No, you do. Just suck in with your mouth first and so then breathe in through your lungs. Killer X kills breathe it in. Serial killers. No, no, no. no. You like. Using their okay, own so. Methods. You like just suck with only your mouth? Large, what's like, his MO? Like that? And then, then you breathe it in afterwards, nice. just like normal breathing. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that tastes good. <laughs> yeah, dude. Blueberry. One cotton. hit and addicted. <laughs> Gary was like, "Give me a bit. I need more. <laughs> more." <laughs> fucking tutorial on how to hit a baby. <laughs> I've done it. Listen up. Out of drugs. <laughs> Listen up, kids. Here, I'll teach you how to well, fucking use a baby. Smoke. <laughs> yeah, dude. Because my dad used to smoke cigarettes. And, uh, he always smells my vape. The fuck is that? <laughs> it's fucking blueberry cotton candy, bro. It smells like shit. I'm like, dude, cigarettes smell like shit. This smells delicious. Yeah. What are you talking about? That ain't hardcore. I can appreciate a good smoke smell. I, like, not if I'm, like, kissing a girl or something. That's disgusting. Dude, but if something I will like a dude not date a girl that smokes cigarettes. Oh, no, I mean... Vaping's I cool, sure. Uh, can you but my thing is smoking. It's like, minutes. their hands always smell like fucking ash. Their yeah. breath always smells like ash. Yeah, fuck their that, clothes dude. always smell like ash. Like, it's like they fucking rolled around in a bonfire and then they're like, Hey, what's up? Rolled around in a bonfire. <laughs> don't smoke, okay, kids, baby. bonfire chicks. Yeah, dude, it's fucking like, ugh. It's both my parents used to smell like bonfire. I <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Yeah, both my parents used to smoke and like... God, it just smelled disgusting all the time. It smelled like ash, like an ashtray, dude. Just walking around like ashtray smell. Damn, dude. That's the Geico cave, man. <laughs> that is the Neanderthal from Geico, dude. That's fucking awesome. Okay. Even had a 40 they knew I was gonna get fucked up there. They were like, yeah, we're gonna surprise you while you're grabbing that gun. Is that a bird? No, those are cams. Yeah, dude, smoke it. And if a woman chews, dude, I've dated, I haven't dated a woman that chewed. I had a chick trying to, hey, look, see? Unlock achievement. Hell yeah. Because I got another console. <laughs> 50. Yeah, there you go. Silver detective badge. Yeah, no, there was a chick that was trying to talk to me in high school. So I've been chewing since I was like 14. Yeah. I finally quit to fucking vape, you know? Yeah. And I thought chewing was disgusting, and I chewed for 10 years. Dude, chewing is so fucking gross. It's nasty. I mean, I still prefer it over smoking cigarettes, because like I said, like if you just get like a pouch, spin a bottle, whatever, throw it away. Like you're done. You don't smell like chew, your fingers don't smell like chew, you don't, your whole body doesn't smell like chew. The cigarette, that, that smells disgusting to me, man. I don't want to fucking talk to somebody that just smells like a goddamn ashtray. Nasty as fuck. <laughs> that's oh, that's a oh, God. Damn, that's a smart fuck! one. Fuck! <laughs> Hold on, Taser's almost ready. Well, half smart, I guess. <laughs> I'm waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's just fuck, dude. I know. Everything about that. <laughs> Taze him, them, took his gun. gun, shot him once, didn't even kill him with it, killed him with the boot. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting reports of violent outbreaks near your current location. You don't say. Yeah, yeah really? That means the cops. <laughs> <laughs> I can agree with that wholeheartedly. <laughs> yeah, what was that eyeball there? Is that an eyeball of wings? Where? You're right. On the wall. Oh, yeah, it is. All right. It looks like some fucking 13 year old grog artwork right there, bro. Yeah, that's my demon. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. You know he's dying. Hey, there's the fucking last. How many chapters are in this?
That dude just fucking took out all the cops, bro. With a pipe. Hell yeah. You kinda got a shotgun, bro. Two shots left. Ten chapters. Damn, really? It's almost halfway over done with it. Yeah, well, we're on chapter six, so we're like starting the second half right now. Oh, buddy. This is the Metro Police. Disperse immediately. Seattle Police. Disperse immediately. I just murdered three men right there. What disperse mean? Get the fuck out or like drop the weapons? Yeah, in. just everybody get out. Scatter. <laughs> Oh my god. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Those two guys just help me team up with each other. Watch this, cops! That's all dumb. <laughs> execution style. Hey, this whoa. You leave the bureau, you too can be an execution. Oh, I need that help. Oh, Ow. damn, you lucky got that at the right time. <laughs> Hell yes, it's about time you get one of those. Oh my god. You can't even see shit when you block with that. Now I'm in the spotlight. Hey, watch again. <laughs> <laughs> we got you on fucking video. Evan. Ow, the cops just shot me. Executing somebody. Oh, the, it's that guy. That missed him. God damn, bro, how am I supposed to survive this? I don't. <laughs> Dude, he probably went back for his butt. Yeah, he's like, you son of a bitch. And you still up there? Nope. That gate's open. Yeah, there's one more health pack, I think. Nope. Oh, fuck. Get out! Need that house quick. <laughs> Find refuge with jumping in the dump. That's my dumpster. There's one hour there you can go sleep in. I don't understand this. Dumpster roller coaster. Most bums charge five bucks for such a privilege. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my dumpster, bro. High speed chase. Out <laughs> <laughs> there, bro. That's a good dumpster, dude. Yeah. Oh, he can kick doors down? You need an axe to do that, dickhead. Anything that ends in stir is just a funny word. What? Dumpster. 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 Trying to think of a funny one. Wankster. Wankster. Fister. Fister. Hey, Smithy. Johnson, wait up. Rosa, are you still there? Sister, sister, sister. <laughs> That's fucked up, bro. Sorry, I'll be there. You met Gronk? <laughs> sister, sister, bro. Stay away from him. <laughs> Lock up your sisters, bro. <laughs> oh, damn. Well, damn. That was it. Okay. Shit, this might fly by quicker than we thought. 14 minutes. Oh, I was about to say, you look down, it's like 45 minutes away. Right. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> For your gamer score, I want to do the tally of how much of your gamer score I've earned just by us recording for YouTube, you know? Uh, All of Resident Evil 8, Resident Evil 3, Resident Evil 2, <laughs> fucking all of these games. That's kind of become legendary. Evil Within 1 and 2. Legendary. Find Rosa. Who the fuck is Rosa? Well, you call her Kidman all the time. Is that her oh, name? Or is it Rosa? It's fucking <laughs> stupid, dude. <laughs> Probably. Who? I mean, we haven't really talked to any other chicks. That's true. What's she doing in this fucking abandoned factory, though? Yeah, her office must be in here. I need a weapon. This, this'll do. <laughs> See, there's another free 10, bro, just for picking up one dead bird. I see no weapons yet. Make it. 
you always start out without a weapon? George Washington. I chopped down a cherry tree. What is the deal with that cherry tree? Is there something behind that? I don't know. You just fucking chop it down. Well, I'm going to score our fucking audience by Listen up, up, fuckers. <laughs> this is going to be proof that Neanderthal's gaming is better than school. Yeah. We're teaching you about vapes and learning. <laughs> Teach you how to smoke. <laughs> when you guys grow up, maybe I could teach you how to do a little harder stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Teach you I, I typed in what's with George Washington's cherry gun. <laughs> what the gun, cherry tree. I had guns on the mind, dude. Yeah, I do that shit all the time. That's it's good. a myth. What do you mean it's a myth? Damn, really? You ain't even chop it down? Whoa, cool. That was fucking dope. Smash him. I can't kick. I was gonna smash every one of them little fuckers, dude. The famous story of a young George Washington cutting down a cherry tree with his hatchet. Has captured the imagination of generations. The fucking lie. I know, dude. Not everybody forget everything you learned at school. Right. Next, they'll be you telling me. You here first, folks. School teaches you nothing but men. Fake news. Fake news. Next, you'll be telling me that the Bible's made up. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here, school. <laughs> Ain't nothing fake about the goddamn Bible. Yeah. I think they intentionally not giving me a weapon, dude. I ain't found a single one. Normally, I find like 52 by fours. Damn, dude, this isn't even a dot org website. Damn, you know it's true, then. I can't tell a lie, Pa. George Washington and the cherry tree man. Damn. So this all was based off a lie, and they lied they even, about the lie. They didn't even have wooden teeth. This shit goes deep. That is Rosa. You're right. Come this way, hey, baby. She fucking ugly, bro. <laughs> Ain't no baby about that. Security clearance to do. Looks like she's been look fucking. Earring, dude. I was looking at those ears, dude. Looks like she's fucking MMA fire. She's been out there boxing Mike Tyson. Got you see, the... this is where you go. You look at the beauty, the ear. I look at how much money they got. <laughs> she got an earring. What's gold? She's it's only cash. one. She's ready for me. She looks like she got fucking cauliflower ears, though, dude. Yeah, did he even have wooden teeth? During your last physical. They one myth at a time, buddy. <laughs> Published in 1806 was when the myth first appeared. <laughs> Damn it, Mason like weeds. Jesus Christ, this goes fucking on and on. Just give me a sentence of explaining here. I'm not trying to read. You literally just taught me readings worthless. Oh, they're explaining. They're explaining why we're all fucking psycho right now. I better pay attention. Pretty top level security, way beyond either you or me. Our government is awfully interested in you. I didn't know. <laughs> she said he has higher muscle and bone density than the average human, and he had a chest X-ray that was redacted. They said an esophagus and something else, lung or something was redacted and it said C uh, subject 560 something or some shit. Damn, no wonder you're ugly as fuck. Yeah, he's a fucking lab experiment, bro. Yeah, super taser up there at least. Yeah. See, it didn't PR 56. I'll be taking my files with me. Yo, grab your super taser. Oh, I thought she fucking disappeared. Is it a super taser? Oh, it is. I thought you were just memeing, bro. No. Taser's been upgraded. I'll be back, Kidman. Oh, wait, this is where I came from. Back to my rabbit hole. Yeah, do you have wooden teeth? Well, that's what I pulled up here. Unaffected. Damn, there's more myths than we thought. Few figures in American history are surrounded by myths as George Washington. He had wooden <laughs> teeth. He was so strong he could throw a silver dollar across the pot of mac. I'm assuming that's some river. I don't fucking know. And there's a fucking... Uh... Or that he wore a wig. He didn't wear a wig? What is perhaps the most enduring tale is he chopped down a cherry tree. Damn. And when he was a boy and told his dad about the told his dad the truth Hello. about it, in turn gaining the moral high ground that we all should aim for. It's over, Father. I have the moral high ground. <laughs> That's fucking funny. He went and cut down his father's favorite cherry tree. What? Watch this. Watch. If she does it again. No, last time I taser her, fucking head twitched to the side. <laughs> Dad was pissed and asked if he did it. To which little George Washington replied, "Yes." 
<laughs> With those brave words, father's anger melted away. What? And he embraced his son. Nobody would do that. Dumbass. Exclaiming that his honesty was worth more than a thousand trees. Whatever, bro. That thousand trees could have fed Africa that you was fed stealing. Africa, the you know. oxygen. What the fuck? His teeth weren't wooden. Thought he sold those for booze money. What is happening, bro? Well, that's an episode. You learned a lot here. Yeah. Fuck George Washington. Thought he wasn't as cool as he thought. He was yeah. honest. Honesty ain't cool. Yeah. And he was a liar. Lying little bitch. <laughs>